Hello friends, I am B Singh, Chairman and Managing Director, MADG Group. I founded MADG 20 years back and you are watching today Topper's Talk. In Topper's Talk for Engineering Services Examination 2019, with me is Mr. Prameet Dev Malik. He belongs to Kolkata. He is from Jadavpur University, Kolkata and he did his B.Tech in 2019 pass out fresher in construction engineering. He joined Made AG Kolkata Center, two years classroom course program in third year and along with this college, he cracked the engineering services just in first attempt with the second rank. It is really inspiring. Prameet, first of all, congratulations you. on your achievement and really this is an inspiration. Your branch is construction engineering yes. and you cracked in civil engineering and that too in first attempt along with the college. Really inspiring. I came to know your father is also civil engineer. Yes, sir. He is a professor in the university. Yes, sir. Right. So, you got any inspiration from your father to prepare for this exam? Yes, sir. My father is a professor at a private university in Kolkata. Right. He is currently teaching some subjects which are uh, part of the engineering service examination. Oh, great. So, I could utilize his notes on those subjects also along with the other preparation that I used. Right. So, and his guidance was very helpful. Right. So, when you decided and uh, took uh, the season to prepare for engineering services? Uh, so I decided uh, to prepare for engineering services in my f uh, fourth semester of college. Fourth semester, that is the end of the second year. Yes, sir. end of second year. So one attempt preparation was sufficient for you because you cracked. Yes, yeah, so um, I uh, so there was no fixed hours of study or anything which I did. Okay. I studied so whenever I wanted to. I mean, um, there was no fixed hours that I had to study so and so th every day. Um, okay. So I studied whenever I wanted to and I believe that uh, it's the quality of work that you do instead of the quantity. That Correct. Counts, actually. I agree. So how much time every day you could devote in your preparation? So uh, generally in the morning I used to go to college every day. Right. Uh, and in the evening around uh, two to three hours I could spend on preparation for engineering service and gate examination. Right. And it was your weekend batch or regular batch? Oh, weekend batch. Weekend batch. So every Saturday, Sunday you used to attend the yes. classes for the two years? Every Saturday, Sunday. Okay. How was your experience in attending the classes? My experience was very good. Uh, the prep uh, the uh, coaching that I re received from ADC helped me a lot. Particularly in some subjects such as environment, uh, environment construction, uh, materials and all, it was quite, uh, very helpful. Uh, you gave all the tests of the uh, in mains examination. I have here your answer sheets. This is uh, test number 3, test number 2, test number 1, 4 and 5 and all. I have seen you have attempted questions very carefully. Attempt makes a difference. So how the selection of the question you did in the exam? The selection of questions in the examination is very vital. So I used to send, spend around the first 10 minutes of each exam uh, selecting the questions which I would attempt. Right. So and as it's a QCAB booklet, it right. is also help, uh, easy to uh, attempt the easiest questions first. Right. So I get more time for the more difficult ones. Right. And so I attempted to the maximum of my abilities and hmm. uh, uh, and I left very few marks in the main uh, papers. Right. So some students, they attempt the questions and they leave the remaining which are not uh, known to them. After coming home, did you re-attempt those which were not attempted in the test? Yes, sir. Uh, after every all of the mock test series and everything that I gave, right. I used to go through the solutions of every test uh, thoroughly. Correct. And every uh, mistake that I made, I used, to, I used to identify the mistake that I made and I used to rectify it also after each and every test. Great. And how was your preparation and what help you took for the mains examination? Uh, for the mains examination, uh. sir, my class notes from MADC were was very sufficient. Right. In addition to that, there were some topics which I covered from the study material and standard books, hmm. and I took the offline test series. Uh, offline test series. Okay. So, how much need of a standard books you realized? Uh, so, for me personally, I felt that my notes were my own handwritten notes were much more useful to me, okay. as they were more visually uh, imprinted into my mind. So, I could refer to them at any point of time, and I knew where, uh, if uh, where I had to look for in my notes. Great. And uh, at any moment of time, did you feel that you need more support or more coaching apart from ADG? Any? Uh, no, not at any moment of time. So, only you went through the ADG classes. Yes, sir. Only ADG classes. Sir. Right. Your interview was with Dr. Manoj Soni's yes, board. Sir. 
can you share some your experiences of the interview any question which they asked uh, so uh, the interview started off uh, with the meaning of my name mm. uh, and then uh, some questions related to, relating to my uh, ad, uh, my address meaning uh, the significance of the name of your district and then um, uh, dr soni asked me about uh, my interest in photography and model reloading i mentioned those as my hobbies in my dad right in my dad after which uh, the technical members took over the point after model rail loading was mentioned and my questions went on to uh, railway engineering uh, concrete technology geotechnical engineering and construction management as i had, as mr soni had initially asked me about uh, what is the difference between construction engineering and civil engineering okay right so all based on your def mostly related to mostly your academic related. profile yes. and then moving to the technical yes sir right that was the interview part during the time of preparation sometimes there are ups and downs yes sir because preparation doesn't move in a static way no sir so when you were down in the preparation any stage of time you felt like this and what you did uh, so there was a time in march after the gate results were out okay. the gate result wasn't up to my expectation okay. i was a bit uh, uh, disheartened or depressed after the gate result came out what was your gate rank by the way uh, so my gate rank was uh, 165 161651 okay uh, this is important and inspiring 1651 is the gate rank and second is the ias rank so you need not to be discouraged if your gate rank is not good because your target may be something else so after the gate uh, my gate score uh, my gate score came out i was a, for a couple of days i was a bit uh, depressed and all mm -hmm. but after that i thought it's just an exam and i can attempt it again <laughs> if need be and i also and uh, a few days before that the engineering service preliminary result came out so i decided at that point that ac will be my main focus main focus and right. that setbacks are uh, happen in everyone's life and and you should learn from your failures right and failures are never permanent these are temporary and failure at one stage doesn't means failure at the next stage and 1651 even along with the college was also reasonably good rank however not sufficient enough for the public sectors uh if i talk about the social media nowadays people have lot of the time investing in the social media how much you are active and how much time you used to spare in social um, media actually if you, uh, social media sir i actually uh, have a couple of facebook pages uh, mm. dedicated to civil engineering and photography mm. so i used to run those mainly and also on instagram also okay. so i was quite active on instagram and facebook uh, on uh, topics of photography and civil engineering any learning from the social media for your preparation Yes, sir. I used to uh, read about uh, read and uh, watch videos about previous exam toppers and about uh, interview guidance and everything, and they helped me a lot right. in my preparation. When, if I ask the question, uh, you have to choose one class course or the online uh, video course. what would be your advice to the uh, students? Uh, I would say so. The classroom course is a much more. Uh, uh, a better experience because you're physically always in the moment and you're taking notes and at the same time as you're writing it's also getting imprinted in your brain right so that helps you a lot and right. your own class notes are most vital right and other thing is that when you are sitting in the class there are other students also you are talking interacting to them yes so there's a kind of you are in the mode of the communication with the teacher also apart from the after the class you can talk and discuss the doubt those things are not possible in the videos uh, yes sir right and uh, finally coming to the next stage what message or advice you would like to give to the aspirants who are preparing for this es so the message that i would like to give to aspirants of the engineering service examination is that you should remain dedicated and have a focus and you should focus on your immediate goal say for example focus on preliminary before the preliminary exam uh, and then uh, after preliminary go on to the mains exam so you should prioritize your goals first and one more question which i have man you was in college yes. and you were also attending the coaching time management under such circumstances is a difficult task oh, so right. how you manage your self study time which i think will be useful for the aspirants as so a monday to friday i had my college every day um from around 10 o'clock in the morning to around 4 4:30 in the evening right so and uh, i used to live very close to my college so okay. that was a bonus traveling time is traveling time saved. was negligible almost okay. sir so uh at, in the evenings i could easily prepare at home right. and weekend i used to go for the classes at medisi kolkata mm. 
mm. and uh, and um, I would spend the days over there and. Uh, then if I could, got time after reaching home, I would study a bit. Again, revision. Again, revision of the day's work. Right. So this was, and what uh, was your plan for the GS part of the prelims? So for the GS part of the prelims, um, uh, 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 we received uh, two books at the time. Right. It was two books two. on general studies, two right. big books. Volume one, volume two. Volume one, volume two. <laughs> volume now, uh, this year we have made it into 10 volumes. Uh, volume 1, Volume 2, I mainly read through those books thoroughly twice or thrice right. and attempted all the questions that were given in the books along with the Class. previous year questions. Okay. Plus, uh, I I took the, and I attempted all of the online test series on the GS subjects that were right. available. So, I think uh, that was uh, your way of moving on towards the success. Do you have any plan of writing civil services and going to the uh, next? Uh, yeah. on, I don't Not know thought of plan, it. but I'm think, I may think about it. Right. The idea will be conceived soon. Yes. <laughs> because you have already, uh, you have shown an uh, interest in um, model rail loading. Yes, sir. What exactly the model uh, rail loading is? So model rail loading is basically you can uh, operate uh, all the operations of the railways on a much more reduced scale. Mm -hmm. So say for example signaling, points and crossings, turnout, everything you can operate on your own oh. and these are very detailed scale models right. and operational. Right. So if I ask you to uh, say one line about the Made Easy, what will be your... Uh, I would say that uh, Made Easy has been instrumental in my success of achieving AIR2 in my first attempt. Uh, and that uh, the coaching that I received from ADZ has uh, helped me a lot in other aspects also, apart from engineering service also. So this was the discussion with the Pramit De Malik. If you are also a selected candidate and you have some inspiring story with you and you want to share with the other aspirants through this platform of Topper's Talk, we invite you to contact us. And uh, if you have something in your mind to share with the aspirants, you are most welcome. Made AG is an organization which guides for the IES and GATE examination. If you want any support from us, stay tuned and log on to our website. And Made AG also provides the civil services programs through the next IAS. And that's what, what the top has talked. Thank you very much.